people, including myself, have been sleeping on rival consoles. What's that about? Why is rival consoles not a bigger name in electronic music? Uh, why? Recently, I've been going through the rival consoles catalog to find that there's some really fantastic material lurking within his discography. I mean, the debut album is pretty solid. The one from 2015 and 2016 is pretty good as well. Then the 2018 album, which might be the best I've heard from him so far, Persona. That shit is fantastic. The sound design on that thing, the, the quality of that album is so bloody strong. Really wish I'd gotten onto that in 2018 because that's easily an album that would make a year-end list because it is just that good. And a mad highlight for Micro House in the past few years, which is a genre I've definitely been getting more into recently. So of course this new album from Rival Consoles was definitely something on my radar, especially after listening to the title track Articulation, which came out a couple of months back. The way this track cascades is phenomenal. Like it just takes you through valleys, peaks and troughs. The, the friggin' journey it goes through is phenomenal and you're just hanging on every moment on this track. It is a really, really beautifully crafted electronic song. Uh, gotta be on the, uh, gotta be up there with one of the best of the year so far. Like this would easily make my songs list at the end of the year because it is just so freaking good. It truly is a centerpiece of this album because every time it comes on, you feel like you've hit a completely different point on the album. Like. It is a stunning moment when you hit it because there is just nothing really like this that I've heard all year. And even on this album itself, there's a pretty nice diverse array of sounds and styles coming through on this album. But it's pretty consistent throughout, but I just feel like articulation just takes the album to a new level. I don't want to oversell the song because if you listen to it and think it's not very good and think I overhyped it, then that might let you down a little bit. But I do truly feel like this track is sensational. The album delivers plenty of goodies throughout too and an only six track album. It's only six songs long. The opening track really sets the pace nicely. Uh, this track is titled Vibrations on a String and I swear it's exactly what it says it is because there's these really weird wobbly effects in the middle of the track that really do sound like vibrations on a string. I'm not entirely sure what he did to make this song or how he put this one together but I just think the way that it has this really odd effect with the bounciness, the kind of like wobbles. It's really cool, but it sounds great as well. I like the way that Rival Consoles puts together these songs that you can truly appreciate in the way that they're crafted, but they also sound freaking great too. Like they are just building up to these like almost near house anthems at points, but never really quite gets there. It never, it never makes it to a house banger. It just keeps subtlety uh, very close to its chest. It's, it's a very subtle album, but when you kind of pay attention to some of the details, you do really start to like fall in love the way he's put this album together. Dare I say there's a bit of John Hopkins influence as well throughout. I'm not entirely sure if there is a John Hopkins influence, but I really do think there might be because he track forwardism. This straight up sounds like something that would have made it onto Insides, which came out in 2009. Uh, watch my John Hopkins ranked video if you're interested because you'll find out that I'm a big fan of Insides by John Hopkins. Of course, anything that sounds like what John Hopkins is able to put together is probably a good thing. Just like the closing track too, the way it progresses, definitely reminds me of something that would have made it onto Singularity. Not that I'm trying to make out that everything on this album sounds like one artist, but there are these little moments that definitely get me uh, thinking of what John was doing in his best moments. But again, the subtlety on the final track is really, really well crafted because it just tickles you in this really weird way. Like it starts off so slow, but then you just have to be patient with it because it slowly builds upon itself. And then by the end, it's, it's a really nice payoff. I definitely would have liked a little bit more from the track Melodica, I must admit. Uh, this one is really pretty. It is a really, really pretty song, but it's very short. And I think for a six track album, I don't really 
get that all that excited when this one comes on like i just wish it was fleshed out a little bit more maybe extended maybe added a bit more detail to it because you know I, I think when you've already got a pretty short album you don't really want moments that kind of interrupt the greatness i think still here does what that track does a little bit better it's a little bit more detailed it has a bit more of like a new age vibe to it it's a nice track as well but i think the moments that go for more of like the micro house type stuff definitely appeal to me the most i mean like i say articulation the title track just feels like the track that really carries everything that rival consoles can do at his best but you know what overall i think it's a really good album i'm just so hesitant to say i love it it just falls so short which is why i'd go 7.5 out of 10 but you know what i think if you dig through the rest of his discography even if this one wasn't your favorite you definitely find another one that you would absolutely think is fantastic because he really is very talented like i had to i had to do a video on this because he deserves way more attention than he's getting and uh, definitely go through his discography definitely check this one out if you haven't already thank you for watching my review another highlight in electronic music in 2020 what a great year it's been for electronic music definitely dig into more of it if you haven't been because i've i found loads of great stuff and yeah, this is another example of that. And even if it doesn't make the year end list, it could easily be an honorable mention, but the track articulation would definitely be up there on the songs list. Hope you enjoyed my review. Hopefully you enjoyed this album. Have a good day. Subscribe if you haven't already. And goodbye.